I basically play the character of Landon Carter, who is the small town hero, basically, who has his group of popular friends, and they probably all know that they're not going to go anywhere after high school or be much of a success. And um, Jamie Sullivan, is, uh, who's played by uh, Mandy Moore, is the basically the nerd in the school, the, the, the recluse, and uh, you never would have thought that my character would actually ever fall for her, but she actually teaches me a lot about life, um, what to do with my life, as well as I try to help her out, and it's just, uh, in the end, it's an improbable love story. We're in different groups, you know, it's, it's high school. You know, social groups are you know, quote unquote, important, you know, you, even though they aren't, you know, kids unfortunately think so. I'm in the popular group, she's not. She's the Reverend's daughter. She uh, wears the same sweater all the time. She reads the Bible. Um, so consequently, consequently, we make, you know, fun of her. So when we meet, I'm not interested at all. We're all, most people are basically appalled by her, and I start to slowly get intrigued by her by some of the things she says and some of the things that I actually understand that she understands. She was just different and uh, it was weird to us. She was too into God and too into all those things and we didn't know if we were into that. And, um, but in the movie, the first time you see me, uh, Landon actually see her, it's more of like, oh great, you know, there she is again, there's the freak again. And, um, but I sense something in her, I've always sensed something in her. And uh, it takes uh, a serious uh, car accident that I get into and being put on probation at school um, to actually having her help me with these lines that I have to learn for this school play um, that brings it out of me. I get the part uh, to play a character in this play in which she's going to be in. And I am, you know, my character is, in a, hor is a horrible actor and um, I need the help and uh, she doesn't want the play to bottom up. So she offers her help, and the time we spend together through that, I start to fall, I start to fall for her, basically. For my mom, it's be careful, she's the Reverend's daughter, you know, she knows me, and she knows probably the people I've been out with in the past, and, um, and this is not that type of girl. And, um, you know, for my friends, it's what the heck do you think you're doing? And, um, and one of the friends is actually my ex-girlfriend, who keeps trying to come back to me, but I, um, I end up pushing her away. They all just can't believe it because we've all grown up with this girl. It's like uh, dating the school nerd all of a sudden and being dead serious about it. They, they just don't grasp it. And thankfully, in the end, the true friends um, understand what I'm talking about and, and they see what I see in her and they help me out. Mandy's father, he, um, he knows about me too. And he sees me in church every Sunday and he knows I'm one of the punks and, and he knows I, he knows I got this, um, I hurt this kid accidentally daring him to do something and I get in a car accident after that and he, you know, everybody in the town knows these things. They don't need a school paper or a newspaper to figure them out. And, um, I mean, he's, would probably turn in his grave thinking that she would actually have an interest in me. Um, but in the end, he actually ends up being the biggest help for me because he sees that I care about her so much and he sees that I'm worried about her and that I want to take care of her and he knows I'm not leaving. So at that point he has to give in, you know, and uh, you know, those scenes were a lot of fun.